Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First of all, sorry for last week. I was supposed to load up this video here for you guys, but got a bit busy, had, kind of having my annual leave at the moment. Was a bit busy to make a video. I was kind of in and out of the house. So here I am though, better late than never, with your brand new video. So AirPlay, we're gonna talk about AirPlay today. We're gonna to look at how iTunes, you can send your music through your, uh, to your speakers wirelessly of course now first of all just a disclaimer look at your manual for your wireless speaker because that's going to teach you how to connect that speaker to your wireless network i won't go through that because every speaker does it differently so go through the manuals see how to connect it once you've done that you don't need to do much on the computer to start getting itunes to send it to that speaker for you and I'll also show you how to do it on your iphone which is similar to your ipad then near the end we'll look at how to get other songs apart from what's on iTunes, so from Spotify on your computer, from YouTube, let's say you've got a playlist of songs, how to get those onto your speakers as well. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, so what we're gonna do first, you gotta jump onto iTunes. So you click on iTunes, let that open up. Let's find a song here. We'll use the same song that we used for the promo. So that's playing through the speakers here. So we've got the song playing here. Let's say we wanted to play it to the speaker outside. You'll see this button here. This button here will actually get you to the speakers that are connected to the Wi-Fi. So this is what I meant that check your manual, it'll show you how to connect it and it'll pop up here automatically. You won't have to do any installation, it's all set for you. So I've got Apple TV, so that can be used as a audio receiver as well. So you can send audio to that, which sends it to your amps or your TV speaker. And we've got the Harman and Kardon speakers, I've got it outside as well. So I'll just select that one. And right now it's diverted my sound from the computer straight to that speaker there. So if we bust out the volume on that, but that's just playing outside now. And then obviously you can choose the Apple TV and the Apple TV will then send it across. But let's say you're having a bit of a party, you want some music at the TV and where the speaker is. You can do multiple speakers as well. So you'll see this option here, multiple, and you just tick the ones that you want to add. So you'll say, I want both the Harman and Kardon speakers and the computer speakers as well. So that'll then play everywhere and it plays it at the same time so there's no delay between speakers as well but that's really how to do it on itunes it's pretty straightforward you guys just select the one that you want and it'll start playing through those speakers anyway now let's have a look on the iphone and how to send music from your music player spotify youtube doesn't matter what you're coming from what you're going to do here is follow along so i'll have this screened up as well so we'll just go to spotify choose a random playlist choose this random song here and that's playing now so that should be playing through the actual speaker of the phone now to send it to other speakers now spotify does have its own option on there but i'll leave this be because i'll show the way that you can do it on any platform so let's say you're using youtube you just do the same thing any other applications might not have um, what Spotify has as well. So you swipe up from the from the bottom up, bringing up what's called your com control center, command center, control center, control center, command center. The thingy from the bottom used to work at Apple, right? So here you'll see, obviously you've got your volume controls, you've got your next and play pause, but underneath that, you've got the airplay button. Now, if you have speakers connected to the Wi-Fi, you'll see that. If there isn't, you won't see it pretty straightforward. So you tap on the AirPlay, again, you'll get the same options that you saw on iTunes here. So you can then choose your Harman Kardon speakers, that'll start playing, or the living room Apple TV. You can't do multiples on the iPhone though. The system doesn't really have the power to do it to multiple speakers, so that's where the computer kind of does that for you. But there is a way of doing it, and we'll go through this at the end, but that's pretty straightforward to send it to one of the speakers from AirPlay. Easy. Now the last part that we're going to go through here is using a, a third party application that will send any audio coming out of your computer to those speakers. So at the moment on the Mac, you can use iTunes to send your audio to one or multiple speakers. But if you want to send any other audio from your computer to multiple speakers, you can't really do it, but you can send it to one of the speakers. And I'll show it to you guys as well, but you can set your main output of audio to a wireless option. So first of all, let's jump into how to do it with nothing installed, no third party. And let's say we want to use YouTube as an option here. And just to avoid any issues, we'll use one of my videos here. So we've got this video playing now. So now it's playing through my own speakers. All right, so it's playing through the speakers here. There's no options here to send it to another audio option. 
So this is your, your speaker icon here on your, on your menu bar. If you don't see this, you can access it from system preferences, which is either here, or you can get from the Apple menu. So system preferences, you can then go to sound and to activate that button, you can go show volume in menu bar and tick that. But you can also do what we're about to do, uh, send your audio to other places through here. So first of all, you select output. So it's where do we want to output it, output it to? At the moment, it's sending it to my USB codec, that, which sends it to my speakers. These are your wireless options here, your AirPlay options. So you just click on that. That's now set it to your Harman and Kardon speakers. You can send the whole audio of your computer over to your wireless speakers. To do it on the menu bar, let's say you can see that menu bar option of the, your little speaker here. If you hold down the option key on your keyboard and then click on the speaker it then gives you the option as well to choosing which audio outputs you want to send it to that's a quick option to do it through there without opening up any system preferences or anything like that as well that's how to do it without any third-party programs and you can do it still but only to one speaker but there is a simpler way which allows you to control it from your phone as well this third-party application called airfoil so we've got rogue moba here so they are the creator of the airfoil program so this is the website here and i'll link it down below for you guys but you've got one for the Mac, one for the Windows as well. Um, not too sure how to do it on Windows. I've only used it on Mac at this stage, but I would assume it would be as simple to install and to run as the Mac's one as well. And obviously you can receive your audio from Airfoil from multiple uh, devices. So from a wireless speaker, if you click here, you'll see all of the compatible receivers that can be used with this. So uh, you can have a look at this on the site there. Now there is a free version you can use. I think it only lets you use it to one of the speakers so wirelessly send it to one speaker so i think it's about 29 us dollars to get it the full version i'll just show you what it quickly does so let's jump back into here and open up the airfoil program now you can have this turning on automatically for you um, as soon as you start up the computer but i've just got it where i have to just turn it on whenever i need it again it searches up on your wi-fi all your speakers available so you can set it to your computer which is what's coming out of your output um, the harman and Kardon speakers and the apple tv this is what it's getting it from. So I can get it from Spotify directly, Safari if I'm using a web browser, iTunes, which is kind of ridiculous because you can use iTunes one instead, or QuickTime Player as well. So it gives you a few options, but what I normally choose is System Audio, which means that it's just gonna get whatever application is sending the audio to your computer. So then from there, it sends it to this, which then splits it up to multiple speakers. So I can go back into my YouTube video here, play the track. All right, so we've sent it through here. And now if we go back to Airfoil, could tell it to go, you know, go to Harman and Kardon instead of my computer, which is, you know, pretty straightforward. You can do that anyway, but this is the best part here. You can go, I want it to go to Harman and Kardon and my computer. And I can adjust the volume individually as well. So what you saw here on the phone is the same thing as what you can control here. The only difference you can see there is Jeremy's MacBook, which I'll talk to you about guys about in a second. Bedroom, which I don't have on at the moment, it's just turned off, but everything else is the same. So you're pretty much controlling from your phone what's on here because the airfoil program app on your phone will obviously be connected to the same wi-fi as your computer and they just talk to each other so it's, you're pretty much remote re remotely controlling this in the end and obviously the audio where it's coming from um, could be let's say itunes or spotify or even audio from your actual phone speaking of which now audio coming from your actual phone you'll first need to get airfoil speaker for mac or for Windows, obviously, if you're using Windows. What this does is that it adds the AirPlay function to your computer speakers. But that's all you'll need. The AirFall speakers to turn this into a while out an AirPlay pair of speakers. So when you're sending your audio through, it then sends it out to all the multiple speakers, including this one too. But that's it. That's pretty much how easy it is to do this. It's very cool. I love it. I play every, every Saturday when I clean the house. I play my music into all the rooms. So when if, whichever room I jump into to clean, it's playing the same tracks. And obviously I control it through the iPhone. So hopefully this video helps out guys. And if it does help you out, hit that thumbs up button as it does help out the channel. And if you'd like to see more of these tutorials, subscribe. Literally click on that subscribe now. I'll wait. But if you guys have any feedback, write it in the comments below. I'd love to see this. Bad, good, not too sure. Send it to me. Even if it's just something that you thought that was really bad, send it to me. I want to know so which I can grow with this channel. It'll all be because of you guys. So please support me, help me out, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you guys do best. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Jam Tech video. Ah. Oh. Clicking out.